we'll be looking at the anterior forearm superficial group. Um, trick is for anterior forearm, they're all your flexor muscles, and most of your flexor muscles will start on your medial epicondyle. Therefore, we'll start. First one is the pronator teres. Again, like I said, everything starts from medial epicondyle, and the, it would start on your pronator teres. will start on your corn, cornoid coronoid process which is somewhere around here it's not numbered on the skeleton model and that will insert into the lateral shaft of the radius so therefore this in this case number 83 next flexor carpi radialis so again it's in the name flexor anterior side carpi carpi bone radialis on the radial side therefore this would insert into the base of the second and third so therefore, in this case, number 90. That's your flexor carpi radialis. Next is your palmaris longus. Same origin point. And unfortunately, the, the is not showed on the skeleton model, but it will insert into the flexor retinaculum and palmar aponeurosis, which is around this area. But again, it's not shown on the skeleton model. Next is your flexor carpi ulnaris. Name again, carpi bone and ulnaris which is on mostly on the medial side therefore this muscle will insert it to the pissy form hook of hamate and the base of the fifth and this in this case this will be number 92 which is right there and last but not least the flexor digitorum superficialis again medial epicondyle and Proximal radius and ulna, so you can't, in this case, you can't see the number, but proximal radius and ulna. And this will insert into the phalanx of, um, the middle phalanx of 2 and 5. Again, our, mo our skeleton model is missing the phalanx, but 2 to the 5, so 2 to the 5. And that's it for anterior form superficial.